for that first game, I don't know what the what the scene's going to look like, whether they're fans or not. But um, I know that I've I've lived my entire life looking forward to this moment and running through that tunnel, whether they're fans or not. I'm going to be fired up and um, just excited to be playing football. Last couple of weeks, I've been at home, uh, working out with my brothers, throwing with them, running, kind of just enjoying some time off um, because it's been a pretty busy year. This off season is um, obviously kind of an unprecedented time. You know, I know Pat and I, we've enjoyed catching passes from him. You know, even though there was all the excuses and distractions over the last few months, he took it as seriously as ever. And, uh, you know, I know it's going to pay off for him. I kind of thought I was going to be a baseball player in high school. Other than the Trailblazers, we don't have too many pro sports teams here. Oregon football was, was one of the biggest, and uh, Sheldon High School football, that meant a lot to everyone. Growing up, you know, all three of us played football, basketball, baseball. It was baseball during baseball season, and it was basketball during basketball season. Our vacations were kind of around athletics, like when they'd go to baseball yeah, tournaments, they'd be in Arizona. My junior year of high school, um, was running down the sideline and took a helmet to the knee and kind of fell over the top of it. Got the x-ray on Monday, was told that I had broken my femur and uh, was going to be out for a considerable amount of time. Showing up to practice in a wheelchair wasn't, wasn't fun. Watching practice wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to be out there practicing and, and I kind of realized that I needed football. Draft day was uh, interesting. I didn't get much sleep the night before. Wait, who's on a that's what, that's <laughs> right now with this. <laughs> Sorry, careful. Woke up and just tried to, tried to kill time with my friends. A, a bunch of those guys were there. And I knew where I was going. A few people showed up and, and just said congratulations. And we had to stay a couple feet apart. Even through all of this, people showed up. I think it's a... Nice round, Strong. Justin's kind of like the guy off the field, on the field. All the little kids wearing the number 10 jersey, I think it's pretty special, especially around Sheldon. He took his academics very seriously. He finished with over a 4.0 GPA while being the starting quarterback. You know, not many people can do that. Late my senior year, Oregon offered, you know, maybe I could play football for a few more years. I grew up wanting to be a duck, to be able to play in front of my friends, my family, both sets of my grandparents, and it meant the world to me. Growing up, going to the Oregon games, and then seeing him go on to be the quarterback at Oregon, uh, we didn't think it could get much better than that. Especially over the last few years, you can kind of see him taking on more of a vocal leadership role. Got it. Quarterback needs to be needs to be vocal and needs to be a leader. I think he's done a great job of of taking that role in stride. Peel, I'll bring you down. Bring you down. Yeah, you can snap it out. Too. All right now, send you back out. Set. 380. Ready out. The couple days after the draft were, were pretty busy. Drove down to LA. Uh, started lifting, throwing. Um, you could definitely tell they're NFL guys, and just the way they they work, they the way they operated. Do my best to to meet a lot of the guys and get to throw with them, and uh, just be around them has been challenging, um, especially with everything that's been going on. We're still running and lifting and throwing, but it's just not in the normal facilities. I'd I'd probably be at Oregon lifting right now, but those gyms are closed, and um, so I've I've got to go find places to run and lift, and uh, I've been using my brothers to to play catch. So Justin's a First round draft pick, six overall. Pat and I, we we try and beat him every time. There's times where we're out catching passes and my hands and fingers are literally sore afterward. I don't think there's a single rep over the last few months where um, you know we could keep up with him. Yeah, having my brothers around has been one of the main reasons I come home, and especially having my friends around too. And it's kind of sad that, that Mitchell's gonna be heading off here pretty soon within a month, and so this is the last little time that we have 
we're kind of together before everyone kind of separates again. And so trying to enjoy it as much as we can. Over the last few months, we've probably played more men in the household um, than ever before. Uh, Justin and Patrick had an online dynasty going. I grew up playing Madden, my brothers and I, um, ever since I can remember. I think 2004 was the first year with Michael Vick on the cover. <laughs> playing back then, I had always hoped that I'd be in the game one day, whether I thought that was realistic or not. 12-year-old Justin would definitely be proud of me. I've been able to recognize that I've done things the right way, going through school and, and doing all these things. I, I feel really comfortable saying that I did my best. It's going to be crazy to see him run out there for the first time. I've never been to an NFL game, and so um, hopefully I'll have the opportunity to do that this fall. I think it's, it's probably best to be an optimist and to always see the good in things. And it's going to be tough, but I, I know that I'm going to make mistakes, and I know that I'm going to learn from them. So I'm going to do everything I can to, to be the best quarterback I can be, best teammate. Starting over is a great opportunity, I think. I get to establish a new type of, of player. I get to be myself and get to meet all these great guys. And, it's a wonderful opportunity to, to go play football.